how to handle pressure from friends since you guys all earn different salaries. Company rejection is not personal. Do not make it personal. Beautiful people, welcome back to Authentically Real with your girl, No My Time Sign Mom from DC, aka Noms. Welcome back to the returning subscribers. Yay! Hi to the new subscribers. Yay! And hi to those of you who have not subscribed. I do not know why you have not subscribed. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, guys, please don't forget to click the post notification button below so that you can receive a notification of my video every single time I upload. Also, please don't forget to check out the verse of the week. I will be leaving that in my description below. As you guys saw the title today, I am doing a question and answer on careers. If you are following me on my social media platform, specifically Instagram, you will know that I had put on my story, maybe a month ago, um, a little box for you guys to ask me questions on my career, on university, just any advice that you would need or any sort of things that you would want to know about me and my journey. You guys asked questions. I'm not gonna lie, I was very impressed. So please follow me on my social media so that when I put that up again, you are able to ask me questions. If you are not on social media, that is okay. I have left my um, email address in the description below so you are free to email me. I promise you I do respond. I take time, but I do respond at the end of the day. I am here to assist you and I'm here to be a servant to you. Okay guys, so let's get into today's video. This person asked which university is the best university to study at? It's personally, I think it's purely dependent on what you want to study. So for example, if you want to go, if you want to do engineering, right? Or accounting, I'm gonna speak on what I know. If you want to do accounting, what I did is I looked at which university is the best university for that specific degree. Then, so what I looked at is the, the number of graduates that came out of it. I looked at the ITC results. So for example, this year with regards to, or last year with regards to the ITC results, the top five universities were UP, UCT, UJ, um, Stelis, and I think UKZN. Did I, oh, VITS. Vits. those were the top universities so i knew okay if i want to do well i would need to go to those top five universities to get the support that i need apart from that also listen to what your peers are saying listen if you have friends that are older or cousins that are older that have been to university ask them ask them which university is the best for this particular course I do it according to a course. So like I said, for example, for WITS, WITS is known for a great law program. So you know WITS is a university. If you want to do law, you're going to go look at WITS. If you want to do engineering, you go look at tax, maybe tax or WITS. You want to do medicine, you go to a UCT or a Medunsa. So you look at stuff like that. And I would also, I don't want to say this, but I feel like you should look at look into it. Who do employers like? Like I said, I don't want to say it, but I do think look into it. Who do employees like and does that even matter? The question is asking, how do you tackle rejection from jobs? The best thing I can say to you is taking it in and not taking it personal. Don't make it about you and you're not good enough and your marks on this. Don't internalize it. Maybe you're just not a good fit for that company. So don't make it about you and then ask the company, what can you improve? Maybe it could just be your CV. Do you get what I'm saying? Don't make it personal. Rejection is not personal. Company rejection is not personal. Do not make it personal. Okay. I feel like as soon as you don't take it personal, you'll be able to just... Rejection after... It'll just be gunshots of rejection after rejection. Nah, I promise you. You'll be okay. You'll be applying to every single job and getting rejections and trying to better yourself. Okay. So this person asked, once I get a rejection, am I allowed to ask the recruiter or the company why I was rejected? Yes. Ask, 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 ask. This is to better yourself. Okay, so this question was asked, how to handle pressure from friends since you guys 
both or you guys all earn different salaries honestly speaking if this is pressure from your friends you need to sit down with your friend and have a chat with her and tell her that you do not appreciate that because i feel like as your friend it shouldn't be a competition it shouldn't be girl but girl but if your salary is what your salary is and you accepted the job and you're good with it then that's okay if it's self-inflicted pressure that you're putting on yourself i would say either look at your market related salary like does the salary you're getting make sense with what everybody in the same position is getting does that make sense if not get another get multiple sources of income a different income apart from that because maybe so that it can add on to the salary that you currently have if you're still not unhappy and it isn't even market related or maybe you have had a lot of experience look for a new job that accommodates you or sees your salary worth if that is self-inflicted but if it's from pressure from your friends then i would say have a chat with your friends or maybe don't even have the salary chat um you know don't don't make that a chat between you guys if you see that every single time there's a chat now there's some bit of pressure or there's people looking down on you then i'd say don't even bring that topic up i only say bring that topic up if you know what's going to help you if you want to know if you want to apply for a job and you want to know and your friend is in the exact same position and you want to know what to expect in terms of market related salary um then get an estimate from her in terms of what she's earning but i would even say only entry level because people get competitive uh, as friends and it shouldn't be like that i utterly don't even think it should be like that we're all in our own lanes living our different lives so why should it be a comparison why are we comparing as friends why, why are we putting pressure on our other friends i just got asked what is the probation period and how do i prove myself in the probation period a probation period is where you're basically proving yourself it's sort of a test to see if you make sense with the company if you understand the work if you are performing how do you prove yourself in the probation period put your best foot forward ask questions put yourself out there so that they see that you're actually putting in the effort you're making the effort get to know your other employees um ask other employees for help try get a mentor do the best put your best foot forward and even with that don't even stop after probation period keep that running throughout um your journey in the country um how did you handle the unknown of what would come with life after grad Ooh, girl i did not know if i was even going to be doing my honors i did not even know if oh yo wow how did i handle that i didn't handle it well i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not gonna even lie to you uh life after grad i think I had I knew I had an opportunity after an undergrad to work but I knew that was not what I wanted um I wanted there were other things that I wanted I wanted what I'm doing now so um it, it was re it was a very conflicting thought I'm not going to lie to you the thought of okay you might not get into honors you might not actually really do what you want to do you might actually have to like work like really really like start working so i didn't handle it well but i think for me it was maybe looking at the different possibilities like you still have a unisa you can still apply at other universities apart from unisa apart from unisa there are colleges that you can still go to that cater for what you want to do um i didn't really look into those avenues because i had an idea of what i wanted so i would say look at the different avenues the different possibilities you know that you can work start preparing i keep saying this to you guys start preparing for work in your second year please start preparing to look for work in your second year um apart from that a, an honors course funding for an honors course like just look at your different avenues that you can do if you want to go into if you want to be an, an entrepreneurial person look at how you can start doing that who you can connect with stuff like that um so yeah that's how i handled life after grad okay the next question that was asked is how do you handle studying and working um please 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 check my channel out i have a video fully thoroughly describing how i've handled it how i went about it this question goes in correlation to the other question that i just spoke about would you advise working and studying personal opinion um 
it depends so basically with regards to undergrad so basically with regards to me i you guys know i worked and studied from second year up until like now um it's not easy it is not easy i it is not easy and if i must be honest i think i was blessed in my undergrad to be working with a company that was very very lenient it was more of they working on my time than it was i was working on their time so look for a company if you can find a company that is very lenient and it's also dependent on your course how demanding is your course if you know your course is extremely demanding and extremely hard don't do it but if you know that okay you do have your your timetable is very flexible you do have time and you will devote yourself to your studies and your work then do it but i think it's honestly speaking a personal preference and if you know that you're also a very disciplined person and you can stick to a schedule then do it but if you know that it could be tough for you based on your timetable based on your mental uh, your mental health based on uh, the course the demand of the course um, then don't do it. How do I choose for my honors course? Look at, so you chose a specific degree. And remember with, the, with that specific degree, there were modules that you were doing. Look at those modules and look at the module that you enjoyed the most. And I would say from there, maybe pick that. If not that, look at which uh, honors course can give you a lot more exposure to the industry. Let's say you don't know what you want to do, but you know if you pick a specific honors course you're still able to venture into this venture into that venture into that instead of doing for example an honors course that restricts you to one uh specific role or specific job position so look at those two facts what happens if you don't know what to do in the office so let's say they give you a, a work or, or something to do and you just don't know how to do that particular piece of work guys ask for help ask for help i promise you if you're a new employee or if you it's your first time working they expect you to come to them and to say i don't know how to do this may you please help me with this they expect they should actually assign you someone to help you because they know that you are a new employee so i promise you it's normal please do not sit or assume what to do like don't just assume okay this is what to do and then do it and then send out the work or if i sometimes say maybe to impress your boss is maybe do a bit of research and and try don't as long as you're not spending too much time on it try do it a bit and say to your boss this is how i i you know manage to do this is this right is this wrong um but always consult don't just send it through or send it rather go consult and be like i did it this way i did my research i did it this way and that way they can see that you're taking initiative to actually like you know do it in a particular way and then they'll say to you no or yes it's actually perfect just add this this, this. thank you so much for the support for the questions for the love it really makes me feel so happy please also don't forget to check out the first of the week and please don't forget to be authentically real